Hello everyone, welcome back for some American Truck Simulator. So before you scrub, before you go into the middle of the action guys, um, I just need to tell you something. So yeah, you might be wondering why we haven't just had any videos. Well, that is pretty much because there's just been a few problems that I'll explain to you in the middle of the action and if you catch it, okay, you can go to the action, but if you want to continue watching, well, you probably don't need to watch this. Plus, I'm probably going to skip some of this because I'm going to be... I don't want you guys to have to wait for this, so let me just pause and then... And then we can go on. Alright. Let's see, is, is it going to load or is it going to... Wait, I gotta wait 13 minutes? Please don't tell me I have to wait 13 minutes. Never mind, we didn't even have to wait... 20 seconds. Yeah, so what happened last time was that the uh, game crashed or something, or there was some sort of game change. So I drove the last episode and, uh... Hold on a second, guys, because I'm gonna... Not... I'm not skipping anything, but, uh... I don't want to tell you. In case some people aren't watching yet. In case some people have skipped to the future to see something else that I say. That, um... If you're watching now, then good. Good patience you have. And I'm not being sarcastic either. Nice view of the Pacific Coast Highway. I do wish I could just skip all of the loading, but I just don't want to. I only really cut out parts of my uh, vid of my. Um, <coughs> I only really cut out parts of my video if something happens or if I just don't want a certain detail included or if I mess up and I remember that I messed up or something like that. That was not messing up. However, what happened now was that I already record. I already tried to record this, but it didn't work. But I'll tell. I'll say that again when we get into the truck and start moving. But um. So now what I need to do is I need to reload a different version of the game. Now for the guys who are watching now, I need to reload another version of the game because I want that job if I can get it. So let's reload up the game. Go into auto saves. Uh, so yeah, we don't need any of the saves that. This was the auto save that last saved, but uh, you know what? At this point, I think it would just be safer to uh just continue with what we've got. I'm not gonna change anything. So currently, what will happen? Oh wait, that's what I wanted to change. I wanted to change the uh, any anyway because I'm not just doing the same thing that we just started. So um, so let me just reload this. I guess it just decided to load without asking me, are you sure you want this to load, or the game froze. Most likely the game froze. Nah, yeah, froze, but... Yeah, so it so you know it said game change detected. Don't want to know what that was. I mean, yeah, I might have added some mods, but nothing really too um, bad was changed. <coughs> nothing too bad was changed. Um, I'd maybe added a couple mods. I don't even think I had. well, I did add some mods. Hopefully they were saved. Uh, 
Let's just wait around. Oh right, it loaded us up right away at our garage. Yeah, game change detected, I know. I already had to did do this one time. Alright, so. Since we're in our garage, time's passing quickly. It's passing at highway speeds, literally, like... When you're on the highway, it passes at a different speed than in the towns. In the towns, the time goes by a lot slower. But let's see what they have in the job market. They're going to have different jobs than last attempt at this episode. So let's see what they have. Out of Elko, they have that Sacramento job. Look at this. 20 tons of maps. What do they need maps for? Well, they still have the same jobs, pretty much. I gotta give them credit. They have pretty much same jobs. I wanted that Oakdale job. Driving to Winnemuck and then driving the extra distance might be better. But going to Jackpot to get a job to Sacramento just isn't worth it. It just isn't worth it. But here's the thing, I don't want to drive the same exact route that I drove. But we kind of have to. I don't want to drive the same trip that I drove in the failed attempt. But we kind of have to. First of all, they're asking us to drive to Sacramento, and they're asking us to drive all the way up here. That might be cool. Don't really always go up that far north, so that might be good, but then again, we might as well maybe Reno has a job and we could cool Reno has a job to Oakland. But it expires in five hours. So so first, let me see how, how long the trip from Elko to Reno is. Ah, five hours and 20 minutes. So we're not taking the snowmobiles in. Um, job to Sacramento isn't worth it, because it's too far away from Oakdale, where I want it to end. But uh, a job to Truckee might be good. I think we should head over to Truckee. Now, the thing is that we need to find the right job. Now, all these jobs pretty much expire. Now, I think we should get the... Oh, wait, that's wrong job. Uh, we should get this job. Now, it expires in three hours and 56 minutes, and it's a little distance. We have to go to the Walmart in, uh, in Winnemucca. But first, let me see how long the trip is from Elko to Winnemucca. Two hours and 47 minutes to the same exact Walmart. So, let me see, where does this job pick up? Sunshine Crops. Oh, this picks up at Sunshine Crops and goes to Truckee Walmart. Oh, but it picks up from, oh, you're right, we have to drive there. So, let me set it as the GPS destination. And let me see how far it is. Two hours and 55 minutes away. So we pretty much have an hour to spare. Pretty much, we'll drive through our garage on our way through. Uh, when this game unfreezes, obviously. This game freezes a lot. Alright. The wheel always acts up in the beginning, and then toward the middle, it, it's better. Alright. So let's get out of here. So, highway reviews, I didn't, I'm not able to get that out. Highway reviews will be coming out soon, but probably next weekend uh, we're gonna have to wait for. Uh, Euro Truck, I told you this, but uh, you didn't hear, obviously. Um, but uh, let me tell you what happened with that. Euro Truck just won't run. It literally will not run. I am like, I swear to the bottom of my heart, it will not run. And I tried like a while. 
on Saturday and it just wouldn't run. So that's probably going to need to be fixed at uh, Microsoft, which is going to stop production of videos. So I kind of want maybe a little bit more time. So maybe in like two weeks I might head over to Microsoft. I didn't want to do it today because I wanted, I didn't want to just turn up out of the blue and say that I was leaving because, you know, I just came back from the gaming marathon break. The break between the July to October and the November to January, which we're in now. This is the uh, third video of the November to January season. November to January season is going to be ending on February the 5th. The last video will hopefully be broadcasted. I mean, not broadcasted, will be uploaded that day. Yeah, the wheel's kind of annoying, but I can't really stop because we are we have to get that job out of um, Winnemucca that heads to Truckee. Then maybe out of Truckee we can get another job. We never know. Now let's see. Is this guy going to go? This guy's not going to go. Meaning that we have a chance to get on the highway. Oh, shoot. We made a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a big mistake. Well, it wasn't even a mistake. It was just something that happened. Great, now we got in front of two buses. It's a disaster. But please continue watching, because you know it's going to get better. You know it always gets better. <sighs> Leaving Elko. Thank heavens. Now, I know we don't really have time to pull over, but we do because I just said so, and we're going to pull over right here, just outside Elko. We're going to see. We're, we probably have to, like, leave Elko entirely. Um, is this yellow Chevy going to wait? Nope, he's not. And then he switches lanes. How gullible. He switches lanes when I'm merging into the lane. Okay, maybe I forgot to put the, uh, my, my turn signal on. Whoa, what's up with the jam over there? What's going on with that jam, and why did Texaco just appear out of the middle of nowhere? And, yeah, I know, we're in the shoulder, but, you know, it's a little hard to control the vehicle at first. It does get better, I swear. By the time we get our load in Winnemucca, everything will be good. Everything will be fine and dandy once we get there. Seeing a lot of Texaco. And that's, like, Pepsi now passing us. <gasps> Whoa! He should kind of be cautious. If he sees us weaving around, he should probably be cautious. But what his code is saying is that, uh, this purple truck isn't in my way. I shouldn't have to worry about him. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Now, I know we're blocking traffic. I would just say let's just stop here and recuperate, but there's a Range Rover behind me. Now he's behind me again because he thought that he could overtake me. Now he's going to have to go back well, after the green Tesla passes, and the red, I'm trying, but this wheel just won't. Now wait, what time do we have to make it to the load? I think we have to make it there by like 12 o'clock. No, no, not 12 o'clock. We have to make it there by like just before 1, or like, like around 1. We need to make it to the load in order to get there in time. So pretty much we have plenty of time. The wheel is so glitched out. Not glitched out, but it just is so off. Can I change the dead zone to kind of make... I think I should just change the dead zone. I know, changing the dead zones is a little risky. Let me see, where's the dead zone? The dead zone is here, and it's just causing everything to work wrong. So what I thought is we should do that, but then it kind of makes... Well, right turns were like that anyway. 
So what's the harm in just putting the dead zone down a little bit? That makes it so that even though they'll still be jumping around, there won't be that much. And let me see what happens. Cool. I think that totally fixed everything. Changing the dead zone just like lowers the turning radius. Now we have a, a lot of cars behind us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull over here, put my hazards on, and I'm gonna let them overtake me. Oh, idiot van. Go. Go. I'm flashing you. Oh, there was an accident behind me. So, uh, and we have to pretty much go now because if we don't get to Winnemucca by 1 o'clock, we pretty much have to give up. We are just in front of the Carlin Tunnel. I'm gonna... So apparently, uh, they don't, they react to the, uh, hazards. Well, at least he may... Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. I want him to overtake us. I still want him to overtake us. Problem is, is that... Steering just never cooperates. Alright, by the way, Carlin Tunnel looks totally different in real life. In real life, the road is so much more, like, concrete-ish instead of more asphaltish and pavement-ish. Now we have to go, because we have to make it to Winnemucca by 1 o'clock to pick up the load. Otherwise, we have to pick up a different load. And this load at Sunshine Crops. Where we haven't been, ever. Now, do we need gas? Speaking of places we haven't been, we've never been to this gas station. So I thought, well, maybe we should see if we need gas. But we still have 600, 600 miles of gas. And our destination is only 60 miles away. So we... Oh! So we don't necessarily need to, uh, stop and get fuel. But the one day that we need to get fuel at that gas station, we totally will. The one, there will be one day where we need to get gas at that fuel station. And people are starting to give up American Truck Sim because it's so old. But I don't play games right when they get out. I just don't. Because I got this in June, right? Two days before the, uh... Before, uh... Alright, I think 70 is a little too fast, and it's causing the wheel to go crazy. So I think we'll go down to about a nice... 50? What's the, uh... No way I'm going at a cruise of 59. I'm not going in a cruise of 59. We can go maybe in a cruise of, I don't know, 65. Ugh, I, that sucks. I hate it when the uh, automatic retarder just kicks in when you don't need it to. Like, and when the automatic retarder kicks in, then, I like, normally you should just hope that the automatic retarder only kicks in when you touch the brakes. But that's not what happens. It sometimes turns on randomly. Because I have an automatic retarder, so sometimes it'll come on, and then when it happens that, it cancels the cruise control, which just sucks so much when that happens. It doesn't happen all the time, in fact, it rarely ever happens. Well, it happens more times than I wish it would happen. And we're behind this Wrangler here, that I think we're gonna not cut, because it looked like he did a good job. We made it to Winnemucca on time. We got... Well, te technically... In real life trucking, I think there are like... You have appointments and you have to wait until your appointment's there. And then you, um... According to YouTube videos I watch, it's like you have to wait for this appointment. Ugh, I just missed the passing, but... Oh, but this guy's gonna... But we're going to be turning soon anyway, so what's the point of overtaking at this point? Because we're turning right here! Slam on your brake. You can't go past that. It looks... 
like you can, but you can't because that's a, um... However, I'm not taking the stub trailer because I don't want it to, because I just took it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do something like this. We're going to click on this. And we're going to change it to a CR England load. And we're going to take the job. Sometimes you just have to drive to the next city on the map and pick up a load from there. How much pa how many tons? 19 tons of food headed to the Walmart. Let's plan out the route that we're going to be taking. Now the route to the highway is pretty easy. Route through Truckee, different story. Well, Truckee's easy because everything is in the location, and, um, and unless you want to take a scenic drive around l uh, around Donner Lake, you pretty much have nowhere else to go besides maybe a hotel. Now let's hope the gearbox fix itself, otherwise I'm going to have to break. Is it going to fix? Okay, get it fixed. I kind of let go of the pedal. Now it's changing gears like mad. Uh, let's stop here, no one coming, well, someone is coming, oh shoot, I didn't see, oh no, in real life, you probably wouldn't have smashed a tape with the shaky wheel we have, yeah, scuff happens. CR England. CR England a, is a, a trucking company pretty close to where I live. Well, I never looked up exactly where it's located. I just know it's in New York State. Whoa! Along with Kane in Scranton. Kane is in Scranton, PA, and... That's pretty much it. Sierra Leone, I don't think it's in New York City, I think it's in New York State. It's not in New Jersey, in New York City. I don't, it's in, it's not in New Jersey, it's not in New Jersey. <sighs> Gear changes are happening. Then there's this guy behind me. Can we merge in fast? We can merge behind UPS. Well, come on, man. We need to merge in. The AI is not coded, right? Because, first of all, the AI, it's... To have a close to perfect AI would be nearly impossible. Because they would have to be coded. If car is this far, if you are merging on highway, do not stop. Or if someone's merging on highway, or please yield to highway exit, but don't yield to road intersections. And if it's a truck coming and it's this distance, do not go. And if it's a car and it's this much farther than a truck limit, then don't go. Trucks go this speed if it's an eight, but don't go faster than this speed unless you're crazy. Which the AI is never gonna get crazy, it can't, it does not have emotion, so it can technically not become crazy. Crazy is not an emotion, it's actually a verb or an adjective. I should say it's not a verb, becoming crazy is the verb. Another Swift trailer, and that looks pretty much how it, and that's pretty much how Swift trailers look. Gordon Trucking is also a real company, but we haven't seen those in like, a while. Been seeing a lot of Flying J though.
Yeah, so the recording just didn't work. That's pretty much what happened. FedEx Express. That's not how it works. And they're not partnership with Prime, I don't think. Swift is pretty much um, partnered, I think, with Walmart and Target. Swift, I guess, is... Um, I guess Swift kind of partners with the um, retailers. Maybe it even partners with stores like, I don't know, Best Buy. I'm trying to think of other stores. Lowe's. I don't know. No, I didn't mean Lowe's. I meant something like, what are their other superstores? There are other superstores. Um, oh, shoot. Um, uh, we're tilting too much, so I'm going to pull over. Just catch bearings. Let's hope that cars actually overtake us. I hate it that they have to. Uh, let's let some of these cars go. Because we're kind. Alright, now we're gonna go. It's gonna be a little difficult to get in. Let's go after this RV. Ah, okay, before the RV. Between both RVs. I don't wanna know why we're stuck in traffic. Speaking of traffic, do we need gas? We don't need gas yet. We'll, we might need to get off in Reno and get some. In fact, let's route that while we're going really slow and don't have to worry about um, the wheel going crazy while we're going 70 miles an hour. Let's see, so we'll get off, get fuel, and then we'll get back on. Except I want to get off, and then go around there, and then get back on, somehow. Please don't tell me that we're stuck in traffic all because this guy can't go fast. If that's the case, I'm getting behind the pickup. See what I mean? Never mind, because now the RV's going, so I'm going to move over again. No one's really behind me anyway. Because the AI isn't necessarily detecting what's in... Well, they are detecting what's in front of them, but only at their own discretion. Or at least at code discretion. It's only tracking a certain number of meters or feet in front of them. It's not tracking, like, all the way to Reno. It's probably only tracking up to maybe that RV up there in front of the truck. The other truck. Income, $150. So that's 150 bucks that Ulf G has to get paid. Not too much of a cost. So let's pray that this guy's gonna go in the uh, middle, in the left lane. I mean, in the right lane. It's gonna suck if he goes in the left lane. First of all, it's illegal for him to go in the left lane. Although trucks will do it in New York. Well, the only reason why they do it in New York is because when they get on the bridge, they're technically in the left lane on a two-lane highway. Come on, I wish this right lane would would have came like an extra 10 seconds earlier. Because this, uh... I'm desperate for uh, this guy to move over. But there's no middle lane. So let's pray that either he speeds up or something causes me to slow down. I accidentally crashed into him. That's great. Let's try to overtake him. 
<laughs> oh shit. Ah. Well, that's the end of overtaking because we accidentally just smashed into him. Don't worry, it was just the wheel. Really, I'm not trying to make excuses. It was the wheel. This you don't want to know how how um straight this wheel is, but since the game's lagging, I don't I can't react fast enough. Wait, so I don't have to switch lanes? Apparently not. No one's behind me for reasons unknown, so it doesn't really matter which lane we're in at the moment. Obviously, they're gonna get on the highway, and it's going to be three lanes. So the middle lane's probably the one for me. Because there can be slowpoke trucks that aren't going faster than 55 or 60. We can go in front of them. Or trucks that just got on. That we that none of us want to get stuck behind. We can go in that lane. Look, our first... First... Overtakers are overtaken. Now we have more overtakers. I am so tempted to go in that left lane, but we can't. Only legal action we can do is to either stay in this lane. If we accidentally swerve into the left lane, we're okay, but... To be in the left lane... What? Okay, I forgot to t continue telling you what happens in New York. Um, in New York, you'll be in two lanes, on a two-lane highway, and then a right lane merges in, and then trucks that were in the left of the two lanes are in the in the left lane. Out of, if there's a left and a right lane only, no middle lane, and a truck's in the left lane, and a right lane merges in, the truck's in the left lane of three lanes, and that's technically illegal. They can't do anything about it during rush hour. They can't do anything about it. They're stuck in that lane. And plus, on the Throg's Neck Bridge in in New York, in New York, trucks have to keep left, most trucks have to keep left, just about every truck keeps left, so, at the end, to continue on to the Cross Bronx Expressway, so technically the trucks have to pretty much stay in the left lane. Another thing I don't like is this. But I think I'm just going to conform to it today. Unlike what I did uh, last episode, I went over, I overtook them. But I decided that today, we're not going to do it. This episode, we're just going to conform to the traffic. Because it can't be... And pretty much the right lane is the least conflict lane to be in. Even though it's the slowest lane, it's the best lane to be in. Because the only people that are going to be in this lane are people that turn right and slow pokes. There's nobody turning left or anything. People in the left lane here have to stop. Because this guy's turning left. And anyone who's going straight, bad luck for you. Because this RV guy's trying to make a left. And that sucks for everyone else. Come on, some people move either into the right lane or I'm going to move into the right or I'm going to accidentally crash into you, and that's going to be the end of that. Now, here's the other thing. We need to actually move over now, because we need to get gasoline. Oh, great. Let me through. Let me through. 
there's no need for me to wait. Well, there is. Where was tech kind of? For some reason. It was because people are going. Now we're still in the right lane because I want to pretend we're making a right. And since these people are making a left, they're not going to suspect us making a left. So, and then we can technically squeeze our way in. Well, not really, but you get the idea. No, we don't have to turn here. And then... We make a left. Get out of this lane after that kind of wide turn. Doesn't matter, Range Rover is saying, hey, I'll give you some room to even out. We also need to make a wide left into here so that we can fit the whole trailer, so. That's the good thing about a truck, is that you can, that at least if your truck's too, like, nearly too big to make a full U-turn, at least you can make a wide, um, a wide U with, uh, with a horizontal line at the end, which is what I just pretty much did. Oh, hold on, we gotta run off the engine, and then we can fill up. I'm trying to find the best view. Probably over here by the road. Yeah, this would probably be the best view right by the road. Seems like we're all filled up. No one's coming, which is awesome. We can go around half these people because, you know, You, I don't deserve to wait. Ugh, get behind U-Haul. I don't care how slow he's going. That was a big mistake to get behind U-Haul, actually. Big mistake. Never mind, it was a, actually a pretty good mistake. I mean, a good... Technically, bad mistakes mean it's technically a, a good choice. A bad mistake. Tech, if it's a good mistake, you obviously made a bad, a big mistake. Um, are you gonna stop and let us go? Or, oh, I see, GMC. Just stopped. But you know what? You didn't give us enough room to go through. That's what I hate sometimes, when, like, they just block the interstate pathway and you can't get in. It just, just... You, like, wonder, what is the mindset of these people? They just can't, like, leave a tiny bit of room so that some people can get on the interstate? Why should we have to wait two hours to get on the interstate just because you can't leave some room right there. Also, I want to include a short video with a moral in this video, like, 
I'm gonna tell you. So I've been having a lot of times where people have tried to block me from getting in, technically. And if you're my classmates, you know what I'm doing, but... You just saw what happened, right? We just crashed into a police car. But I did that on purpose. Well, not really. But technically, when you try to block someone from going past, it's the equivalent of going like this. It's the equivalent of going in this lane, and then going in this lane, and on and on and on. I don't want to do it because, you know, we're a good driver, or at least I wish we were, and... So, fully refueled. Oh no! And then the slightest mistake causes that to happen. I'm sure that's how it is in real driving. It is the way it is in real driving. But the wheel is actually pretty easy to use. I'm gonna exit off because of that, um, I'm gonna exit off and let these cars go by, but I'm not gonna get gas. Right now I'm using the keyboard to accelerate while I'm using the, uh, wheel to steer as I just adjust the pedals. Now the pedals are adjusted. We're just gonna drive through here so that some of the cars might get a chance to overtake, but we're not gonna slow down. In fact, we're technically using this as a place to speed up. Now this is... Get, this is probably illegal and pretty much impossible to do in real life because in real life that um, service station would be packed. Now, since these slow pokes didn't get, didn't move fast enough, they lost their chance. But at least we kind of got a little speed up. Yeah, so now we have to pull over, so... Oh, come on. Okay, thank heavens we didn't crash into him. Because now we have to go for a weighing inspection at the weigh station. And there's no sign that says all trucks must pull over. Or all trucks with a trailer must pull over. Like, I don't get the empty. Like, what's the point of the empty lane in this truck thing? I mean, if you don't have a trailer, why are you coming into the freaking weigh station anyway? gonna just stick around here for a couple seconds and then we'll head out. Alright, let's go. Right now I'm holding the, uh, pretty much right now I'm using the uh, keyboard to steer, like you can obviously tell if that's keyboard steering, and now I'm going back to pedals and wheel. Look at all the, um, the backup. It's all because of that Greyhound bus. That's the, pretty much the only reason why this backup is, because he can't, because he can't speed his butt up. Yeah, some concrete, some concrete. Strip. All right. Well, I do not know what this is all about, but you know what? I don't even want to worry about it. We can just go around them if we need to. I'm not just gonna be that person that goes or that doesn't look at what's going on, all because they're afraid to t to see what happened. All right, get back over the rumble strip and back onto the lane, and back behind the Volvo. They have to slam on the brakes now. Now, whenever we go, we always stop at that service. We always stop at that way station. Like just about every time we've gone down this strip of eighty, we've. 
like in this direction, we always stop. Okay, when we ever, well, every time we go west, we always go there. And whenever we stop there, I decide on the way, uh, for the rest of the way that we're not going to go to 80 miles an hour because that's just a complete waste of gas. Also, this is also an idiotic waste of time. This, that, it was a police car trolling this pickup. Of course. Then we have to get back on the pedal after we just put in the cruise control. Here's what I don't like about this strip of highway. There aren't any trees until you cross back into California. Which is pretty much right now. And pretty much we're getting off for Truckee really soon. You can see right up there, Truckee is pretty much right around the corner. Like, we only have, like, one turn. Like, one curve to the left and then another to the right, and then we're pretty much there. I hate it when they just stop and they are like, nope, we're not going to. I can understand that there was a police officer behind him and probably didn't want to have to worry about continuing on going when this is a serious accident. Then there's an ambulance up here who should have, in real life, should have probably turned around here and headed back. However, that probably would have been pain. I never go this slow in the up because I have a truck, so I technically... There should technically be a truck lane, or these things should, or these entrances, I mean exits, should be banned for life. It's just, they're just stupid. Like, why should we have to exit uphill, then have to stop? We should pretty much either get a longer flat... We should probably have a longer amount of time where we're just driving on flat ground. We shouldn't be going from an uphill, because then we get something called hill start, which can get pretty annoying. Shoot, we overshot the entrance. Never mind, we didn't. And no, I did not nearly clip that car. That's actually what truckers pretty much, like when I watch this these, this, tr when I watch that U tr YouTube trucker, he always, he does that, like, when the, when the car hasn't even, like, gone past him, he starts turning, because it's going to take him a while to turn. But, you know, he stopped. Now, let's see if we can get any good jobs at a truckie, or, or hopefully any jobs at a truckie. This truckie sometimes doesn't have any jobs. Luckily, it does have a couple jobs, but they're all mediocre. Redding, that goes too far north. Barstow, goes way too far south. And Eli, goes in the total wrong direction that I wanted to go through. So, Sacramento jobs. What do we, what do they have in store for us? They have a job to Vegas, they have Oxnard, they have Santa Cruz, which is too far. How about San Rafael? Any good jobs out of there? Just the same jobs. Yeah, just the same jobs, pretty much. Do they even have, like, a short hop from Stockton to Oakdale? They don't. I just want to get to. Oh, I just want to go to Oakdale. I don't want to go from Reno. Well, Reno does have a job to Oakland, but the trip from Truckee to Reno is gonna be over two hours. So don't necessarily want to do that. So maybe there's a job from Ukiah. 
Well, yeah, I'm not driving north to drive all the way back south. Reading does have some Oakland jobs, but the question is, is that can I get to Reading in time? First of all, what's the distance? How can you get from Truckee to Reading? First of all, we have to pretty much go pretty much fast. Ah, oh, five and a half hours. Yeah, probably no way, because these job this job expires in five hours and seventeen minutes. That's just insane. We're not gonna do that. And I want to get to Oakdale. Maybe there's a hop from Oakland. No hop from Oakland. Not even a hop from Oakdale. I mean, from um Stockton, which is pretty not good. It means that we're going to have to. Maybe we could. I wish we could do an external contract, but we don't have a world of trucks. Um, and I don't want to do world of trucks because it's not the real game. There's no real, there's no true deadlines. It's just, you get so much time to get the job delivered. Meanwhile, in this game, at least you get to have it delivered. So what I'm going to do is we're going to drive... down to the Bushnell Farms in Oakdale. We're just gonna drive without a trailer. Uh, all the way to Oakdale. 180, nearly 200 miles without a trailer. I'm going to drive down to Sacramento and maybe a job will open up in the short amount of time it takes to get there. Cause currently what was the job situation out of Sacramento? Not really that good. Wait, what was that job to San Francisco? Three hours. Yeah, no way. It's on the wrong side of the city. Maybe if it was on like the maybe if it was like to the port of SF. If it went to the port of San Francisco, I might have take I would have so taken that job, but it doesn't go to the port. It goes to the Eddies, which is on the total opposite side of San Francisco. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to drive. We're gonna pretty much drive. Bobtail, or if that's how you call it, or well, just at least without any trailer, to Oakdale. And you're probably sitting there wondering, why not just go to Oakland? Well, here's why we're not going to Oakland. Because Oakland jobs... Wait, why couldn't we go to Oakland again? I think they didn't have Oakland jobs out of here. They had Oakland jobs out of Reading. That was too far away. Yeah, you see, Oakland was too far away. And a job from Oakland to Oakdale is just out of the question. We could go to Bakersfield, but that expires in nine minutes. We won't even be out of Truckee in nine minutes. So no way we can make it to Bakers to Oakland in nine minutes. Now, I'm just thinking about maybe going to Santa Cruz, but that expires in three minutes. No way we can make it in three minutes. What were the trucky jobs again? Reading? We can make it to Reading, but then maybe a job would open up. But if a job doesn't open up, it just means a longer drive that we have to attempt. Because I know Oakland's going to expire. No way we can make it there in time. We can't make it to most of these jobs in time because it's a five and a half hour drive to Reading. You know, Eureka has jobs to Oakland, but they expire. We can make it to Elko on time, but, you know, we're not doing that because we just did that. We did. So maybe we can find a job in Sacramento at the last minute and go get that. But unless that happens, pretty much we're screwed. Plus, the Duncan load's gonna expire in six minutes, and that goes to a worry McCollum. Was that the one to uh, Reading? I think that was the one to Reading that expired in six minutes. We will be able to make that. Just technically speaking, I just don't wanna make it. Now, this traffic is just insane. Like, they can't even let me out. Now, in real life, what, Brett, what FedEx would do is it would. It would unpainstakingly move back and let me in the line. 
Now what I have to do instead, no way I'm waiting for them, they're complete idiots. Now this guy can wait, just like I had to wait for them. I'm not waiting for them. They couldn't wait for me. He couldn't even back up for me. That son of a gun. Of course, cop had to spot me. Only reason why I was speeding up is because we're getting into the highway. Don't necessarily need to go 30 miles an hour here. Well, there is kind of a reason. Now there isn't a reason. Now we kind of need to just... Yeah, so we'll drive along, we'll just drive, da di 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 da And if we go past Sacramento, and a job opens up to Oakland, we'll go pick up that, but I'm not going back to Reno. We could have just gone back to Reno, but I'm not going back to Reno. Drive to Reno is like three, two, three, maybe even four hours away. Then we had to drive the distance back. Oh, shoot, we're speeding. Don't need to speed. Get out of the left lane. Because people are going 65 miles an hour there. And we're not. We can only go 55 in any lane. Let's just get aligned and then we can hopefully become sane for the rest of the trip. It's actually not that easy to handle the truck. I think we might have to pull over every once in a while on the trip. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull over every once in a while. Like now, I think we should just pull over right now. Hop at the school bus. Turn off our hazards, because they don't understand that in this update. Show you the truck a little bit. Release the parking brake. Speed up. Wait for the next car. Then get in. Whoa, did you see that? He got into an accident. See what just happened? An hour of game time just passed. You know what could have happened in an hour of game time? Two jobs could have opened up. As we make our way towards Sacramento. Now. What we're going to do is, when we get to the junction, we're actually going to check Redding. But not until Sacramento are we going to check Sacramento. So let's see if they uploaded, updated Redding. I don't really think they did. Now, Reading is quite a drive. I don't think it's really worth it to head there without a trailer. But the jobs haven't updated is the big deal. The jobs have not updated. Well, there is a new job to Huron. But Huron's too far. And then Vegas, you know, is a little far. So, onwards to Sacramento. We get the pedals back adjusted. I mean, we're on cruise control, so we don't necessarily need to worry right now. I'm letting go of the cruise control now. You can see the speed starting to drop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, 
I'm gonna get in the middle lane for now, because I don't know if we're getting off in Sacramento yet. I don't want to check till the very last minute, because I don't want to check now and give up on Sacramento, and then 20 minutes of game time later, another job opens up that we could have taken, and then we just start crying. So when are we checking Sacramento? Right about... Sorry there. Now. Now we're checking. We need to know now if there's any updates. I, don't, I doubt there is an update in the job market in the last two hours of game time. But you know, anything could have happened. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look promising. Just wish Oxnard wasn't that far. All right. Let's continue ahead. Let's truck on. Now, there is a 40 mile an hour limit here, however, I don't ever follow it because there's the point. No, not here. I think it's on the other side, actually. The 40 limit's on, on the other side. If there's no purpose in the 40 limit, don't know why they even have it. It's like around here, it's just like af or just after this or something like that. We'll be checking Stockton shortly, too, to see if it updated. Because even if Sacramento up updated, we're not going back. I'm not going back. We went past. We went through Sacramento. Plus, getting back to Sacramento is going to be harder than going... It's going to be harder because we have to turn around. And turning around isn't going to be easy because, first of all, we have to get to Stockton first. I'm not going back. We didn't go back to Reno, and Reno is a fair, relatively short drive, not as short as Sacramento to Stockton. But. Alright, so let's see if Stockton updated. I doubt it did. I doubt it did. But who knows what could have happened. Yeah, Ukiah is out of the question. First of all, we're not even going to be able to make it to, to the HMS in time. It would take like another hour of game time to get there. Yeah, so I didn't think so, and I was right. So we're going to truck on. Hopefully not crashing into the SUV right there. Into the... What do you call it? The Buick? No, it's not a Buick. It might be a Buick. Who cares if it's a Buick or not? Car lovers? Yeah, they care. But, but simulator lovers don't care. They just want to get from place to place, look at the scenery, and enjoy. they only want to care about like the trucking companies. Peterbilt, Kenworth, Mac. Um... What other companies are there? 
Volvo. Come on, I wish that this would just stay in its lane. We can keep in this lane for a short time and then go back. Yeah, so now this is pretty much wine country over here. And it doesn't make sense that they have to say wine country, because, I mean, honestly, wine can be pretty much anywhere. Vineyards can be anywhere. Just there's something about California and over here, and the amount of trees and the amount of fertile land, considering we're not in the desert. If we were on the other side of the mountains, this land would be dry as you don't even want to know. You've already seen it, so you do know pretty much how dry it is. If you've been to the Mojave before, you can pretty much... Which, I've not been in the... Um, desert! I've flown over it, obviously, to get to Los Angeles. I've had to obviously flew, fly over it. But seven years ago, you cannot... Or six or seven years ago, you, can necess you can't necessarily remember it. We're coming up on Oakdale now. Sometimes it's nice to drive without a trailer. A short little distance. Sometimes it's nice to drive without a trailer. You shouldn't be driving from Redding all the way to... You shouldn't be driving all the way from Redding to Tucson without a trailer. That's like if you're a north... If you if you live in the northeast, like I do, that's like saying that you're going to drive from... From Trenton, New Jersey, all the way to, say... Maybe Portland, Maine without a trailer... And you think that's far for driving? Well, how about not getting paid for the trip and being a truck driver? And driving from Trenton, New Jersey to Portland, Maine without a trailer. If you live in the Midwest, I'll give you another visual. That's like driving from Chicago, Illinois to Lincoln, Nebraska, or Lincoln, Nebraska without a trailer. Or if you live in the south, it's like driving from Savannah, Georgia to Newport News, Virginia. Probably even farther than that, maybe to D.C. from Savannah, Georgia. And if you live in Florida, it's just like driving a little longer than the entire length of the state. Because, you know, Florida is long. Florida, it takes like six and a half hours, seven hours to drive from Key West to Jacksonville, from south to north. And last um, analogy, if you live in like Texas or something like that, the entire length of Texas, or the entire width of Texas, maybe even longer, like east to west, longer than that, maybe like from Shreveport to... Maybe El Paso? I don't know. Now we're gonna pick up probably the only job or one of the only job or two out of here. The time I failed to record the episode, which was on Sunday, it came up with a Phoenix job. So let's see if that's the same. Nope, it's not the same. It's a difference between Elko and Flagstaff. Now here's the thing, we're pretending as if we just came back from Elko, I mean from Barstow, which is here, and if we came back from Barstow, we definitely didn't want to drive all the way to Flagstaff, but we just came from Elko, which kind of ties things up, 
So is Flagstaff the better choice? Probably. So yeah, I might want to change the wheelbase. Let's change it now. Nah, let's not change it. Let's keep it. Now obviously we will not be driving to Flagstaff. Wait, should we go to Flagstaff? Last chance. Do we want to drive to Flagstaff or Elko? Now we're pretending as if we just came from Elko and we were headed to Barstow. So technically we just came from Elko and we're pretending like we just came from Elko in the last episode and then we drove down to Barstow, which is what we did. Then we got respawned in Elko because the game changed. So honestly, even though you are traveling the same distance as we would have if we would have driven from Barstow up to Oakdale, it's technically only half, a little over half the drive, and then you get to Flagstaff. So let's take the Flagstaff job for next episode. I know, it takes a lot of decision making, because I consider a lot of things. I kind of overthink it. Uh, so where's our trailer? On the other side of the uh, barn here. Are we taking more water? We're in neutral gear. I'm not going to bother changing it, even though this is kind of wasting a little more gas. Because anyway, now we're changing into reverse gear. Um... Good. We'll drive this to the front entrance, and then we'll... And then we'll, um... We'll put this on hold until the next episode, which I don't know when that's going to be. And at this moment, I don't care. Because there are other factors that I'm going to need to consider on Thursday, day of the next episode, when I come to do the episode. So let me straighten it up, make it look like we're making a right turn, not go in, turn off the engine, Put everything down. Now let me go into free cam. Come over here just to make it look cool. That's all for this episode of American Truck Simulator. In the next episode of American Truck Simulator, we will deliver our load from the from here all the way to Flagstaff. Now before we finish up, I want to give you a view of that of if you don't know if you don't play American Truck Sim and you like watching it instead then you don't remember what this is but if you've been playing American Truck Sim even if you played it later then even if you started playing it in June like I did and not in February then you're good but if you don't play it and you watch it only then pretty much you don't know, you didn't know that it was going to be this. I just wanted to give you another view because we were in Oakdale. And it wasn't too far of a drive. Now, what I do wish is that there was actually some place to sleep here. However, it's only in, it's like this industrial area behind the, ho the um, hotel. And then there's this non-AI use ramp that leads to pretty much... So it's pretty much a path. Well, traffic will take it. But it's not too often that they'll use it. And then it just leads to nowhere. It leads to this invisible bridge that leads out to the harbor. And this is the Oakland Bay Bridge, which I don't want traffic to have to start spawning and causing glitches, which it's not going to, but in case it does happen. So one last look. And we're back in our truck. Or at least we're back at our truck. So goodbye, I'll see you on Thursday for an episode of whatever, because I need to take some things into consideration. By the way, I changed my Steam, um, 
username. I'll show you that in another um, in our next multiplayer video.